Hello, my lovely Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my lovely Virgos, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. You had I love you fly out. Blocking blessings and new love. Ooh. Why does Virgo, why do I already feel like your reading is going to be complicated? Yeah, there are things you don't know. There are things you don't know. I love you. Blocking blessings and new love. You know, I do kind of feel like one thing, Virgo, that you will notice about this person is that I feel like the minute that you guys stopped communicating, like the minute that this person was out of your life, you felt a huge shift. Things just started improving for you, right? Things started getting a little bit easier. Things started improving. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a little bit of an energy vampire here. It's kind of what that feels like to me because I do kind of feel like one thing that you have noticed really is how much this person was like blocking your blessings, right? Some of you guys have found new love. And I don't just feel like it's new love. Maybe you guys got like a promotion. Maybe you guys started doing better at work or just feeling good. The problems that you were having seem to kind of sort themselves out. I just feel like everything started to get better for you guys. And I do feel like you, you have love for this person. But I think that it made such a huge contrast for you that it's it's undeniable right it's just absolutely undeniable right under this there are things you don't know we have toxic right you also have very soon so i do feel like somebody is trying to move back towards you especially with this we, this this can't be over and waiting i feel like this person expected you to reach out to them or expected you to come back towards them and especially because you have this hope card here too. Ooh, they did. They they are waiting for that. They kind of have been holding out, waiting for you to be the one to reach out or come back. But I feel like the reason that you haven't is because of this. You realize how much this person was blocking your blessings. You realize how much this person was tearing you down and keeping you from, you know, things that are meant for you, keeping you from moving forward. So feel like you guys have really great intuition i feel like you recognize where this person um maybe there were secrets or things like that things that you weren't aware of right let's take a look i feel like some of you guys could have just started if you haven't met somebody new already some of you guys will be with this new love card others of you i feel like you guys are just starting to put yourselves out there right maybe you guys are just started dating or you know signing up for a dating app or something of that nature here right putting yourselves out there again so let's take a look at their headspace, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions moving forward. Let's see what flipped over. Six of cups in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're not willing to go back to the past here. We're just going to keep that out. But let's take a look at their headspace. The queen of cups. I do feel like this person is missing you here. I feel like they've been waiting for you as well. The Five of Swords, I keep looking back at the past, but be careful with that Five of Swords energy. The Five of Swords can be a card of getting what you want by any means necessary. And like I said, just, just as easily as this person leaving your life has really made things improve for you, it's had an opposite effect for this person. They're really, really uh, struggling. They're really, really suffering. So you leaving their life has had an opposite effect. 
So I really do. I feel like that's one of the reasons why they want to move back towards you as well. Because they kind of feed on your energy here. We got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The thing is, is that this person, even though they're realizing oh, that they miss you, that they want you back in their life, and how much better things were when you were in their life, okay, they're really seeing how much value you added to things because they're feeding on your energy here. But the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse to so talk about, they're not actually willing to invest into this. They're not willing to put any time, effort, and energy into the connection. That's something that's important to realize. The thing is with the Six of Cups in the reverse, though, I think you do realize it because I feel like the Six of Cups in the reverse is... One, it can be seeing somebody in a negative light. I think you're seeing somebody for who their true colors were, right? Sometimes when we're in it, it's hard. And, you know, that expression, love is blind. But I feel like you've had enough space where you're able to start to see that. The Six of Cups in the, also, in the reverse also talks about not being willing to go back to the past. They have the Ten of Pentacles. They have the King of Cups in the reverse. And they have the Four of Cups in the reverse, in their heart space. So yeah, the Ten of Cups, or the Ten of Pentacles is a card of everything that we want. It's a card of what we value the most. Like I said, I feel like they are seeing your value, truly here. But the King of Cups in the reverse, I do feel like they recognize where you are either have become emotionally closed off, emotionally unavailable, or emotionally guarded when it comes to them. And they're trying to figure out a way to get you to open back up to them. The Four of Cups here, you know, is a card of the closed off heart. But with it being the reverse, it's like they want you to come out of that. So they, they see that you're closed off to them and they want you to open back up to them. What are this person's true intentions? What are this person's true intentions? We got the Chariot. The Five of Pentacles. And the Emperor in the Reverse. That's such a clear message, you guys. So the Emperor in the Reverse is like feeling out of control over something. Feeling like something is out of your hands, you know, out of control, overwhelming, right? And I feel like they feel like their life has become that. Like I said, that is that is how you know that somebody is an energy vampire. Is because the minute that they leave your life, everything starts to improve for you and it goes really downhill for them. So they want to move back towards you, Chariot to the Five of Pentacles, because they're really struggling. They're experiencing a lot of lack. Like they are really struggling here and they're wanting to move back towards you so they can kind of feed on that because they don't really know what else to do with that Emperor in the reverse. What actions will they take? So they're not even trying to come back for the right reasons. You know, they are not in it for the right reasons and that's something that's important to realize. They have the Page of Pentacles. You're going to be hearing from this person. Ace of Cups. They're coming in and they're going to be saying all the right things. They have an offer to make you hear. They're expressing how they feel. They're saying the right things. But the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, you know, nothing has really changed. That is a that is the biggest message to me with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse in this scenario is that nothing has really changed with them. All right, so... It would just be blocking your blessings even more to allow this person back in. But only you guys get to decide what's best for you, right? But that is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other sign placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, Put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.